All right, so in this video, we're going to be covering a awesome technique that you're gonna to wanna to use, how to show people your screen of your iPhone or iPad. This is super useful for you showing your team members at your organization, or maybe a consultant that's helping you build an application. We use it to show the screen of your iPhone or iPad, but it gets used by a lot of people in a, like a go-to meeting kind of environment where they're collaborating with the rest of the employees at the organization how to do something or maybe the correct way of doing something or maybe using it to show a bug or something right so this is real simple so I'm gonna jump down here so this is my iPhone this is a 6s this will work with pretty much any device any Apple iOS device that has the lightning connector and you simply just plug it in while it's connected to the Macintosh now normally what you're gonna see here is a dialogue that asks you whether you trust this computer or you don't trust it simply make sure that you say you trust the computer because you're physically plugged into it. Also, you'll get iTunes that tries to auto open on you as well as photos and you just tell those to cancel and disregard. So the idea is that you're plugged in to USB with the lightning connector. So then what I'm going to do, I'm gonna open up QuickTime Player and of course most people use it to play videos or whatever. I'm gonna say file, create a new movie. I can do a screen recording, I can do audio, but we're just gonna do a movie. Now the first thing it does, it tries to find the camera connected. And so I'm at my home office today, shooting this video real quick for everyone. But I don't want a video of myself, I want a video of the iPhone, so I'm gonna come over here and select Richard's iPhone. If I had an iPad in here or an iPhone or whatever devices will pop up here. And keep in mind that if I said don't trust, it won't appear in the list here. So the, on the iPhone dialog, you have to tell it to trust the computer. So I'm gonna switch it to iPhone. And of course I get more iTunes messages about iTunes you know, update versions and all the other insane stuff that goes on with iTunes. It's really kind of irritating. And uh, it makes this giant screen and I'm going to make it smaller right here. So this is the size of my iPhone. I can resize it. And I'm going to drive out here. Okay, so now you can see that I have a reflection of the iPhone screen on the computer. So you could be using GoToMeeting or TeamViewer or something like that to show people what you're seeing. Like, I'm in this FileMaker solution. Uh, do I want to register this? No thanks. And I'm going to use the contact solution. And when I'm going through here and I press this button, it doesn't work the way I want to. Or maybe you want to show people how to use this. And that's how you're going to do it. So this is very simple technique using QuickTime Player and a lightning connector and a reasonably modern uh, Mac with a reasonably modern iOS device.